This is Steve. And this is Sean. Welcome to Acromedia's High Five. Okay, Steve, what are we talking about? We're going to be talking about in-place editing in Drupal 8 and how much of an improvement it is from Drupal 7. <laughs> For real, though. How embarrassingly terrible it was in Drupal 7. Yes. The fact that it didn't exist and editing was lousy and yeah. frustrating. And or if, you, if, you've ever, if you're a Drupal developer, and I've witnessed a lot of these, if you have to give your customer or your client a walkthrough of how to use the setup, you're trying to show them, okay, well, you go to this spot over here, this is, we're gonna, you know, this is how we edit your about page. We simply click edit, it's so easy. Oh, by the way, if you want to go change this image over here, let us go through these eight menus and then configure this button over here, figure it out, oh, and then upload it. Something well, that, like that. That's a bit dis. I mean, it was probably six okay. at most, you know? <laughs> like, I mean, there's no need to exaggerate here. That, that um, being said, though, we're talking about in-place <laughs> editing now, right? So yes. if, there's, if there's an image or, or you know, something that's you know, pulling information over it, it more or less is kind of just like an edit yeah. button, right? So we're talking, hopefully, hover over, hit edit. Nice. Like that kind of thing. So um, it's not going to work in sort of every single possible instance, but mm -hmm. hopefully in a lot. If you're on a product page, if you're on you know, the About Us page, if you're even on the home page, you should be able to hover over, you know, edit, edit that you know, text area, edit that image right in place, right where you are. You don't go off to the admin theme. You don't have to go content, search, mm -hmm. like none of that shit. <laughs> um, you can edit it right there. I mean, a little bit of this depends, you know, hopefully things are set up well, you know, you're, you're maybe using, you know, the inline entity module if you're linking stuff together, things like that, right? But um, it, it should be no more of these six clicks. Mm -hmm. You're editing it right in place. You can just see what it looks, you know, it's, it's for those things where like you're not writing a whole blog post, but you're just like, oh man, there's a typo. You know, and you just yeah. want to edit, you just want to fix it, you want to go, you're like, ooh, that's the old version of the graphic, I forgot. Just want to change that. You don't have to be like, oh, let's search, that's fine. What did I call that page? Is it a page? Is it a blog? Is it a, and then like, suddenly you're like, you're like down point. and you're searching through <laughs> things and, and like, you know, now you're getting like, like I more or less give up and, and like, I just search through content. That's yeah. generally how I have to find what or I'm Or you doing. just say, you say like, you just go to your, your web dev and you're, you go, can you just fix this? Yeah. Okay, just fix it, make it work, <laughs> right? And then they just go into the template and override it, it's madness. Right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, that being said, moving on, there's mm -hmm. also some, some big changes happening to the WYS WYSIWYG editor itself. Yes, well, first of all, it exists. <laughs> um, technically, um, WYSIWYG editing was an add-on to Drupal, which is pretty lame, you mm -hmm. know? Um, and there was this thing of, oh, like, well, which one should we use? And if we don't have it included, this gives us like this freedom of choice, people can add theirs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And then finally, they sort of realized that's dumb. Um, because you can still have the ability for people to change it and override it, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't have one out of the box. Because most people don't care that much about WYSIWYGs that mm -hmm. they would have like their preference one. They just want it to work. They want to be able to just go in and make things bold and stuff without mm -hmm. having to type like HTML tags in there. Um, so Drupal actually properly integrates CK Editor, which was the most popular editor for Drupal anyways. Um, it's built right into Drupal Core, it comes with Drupal out of the box. Um, so. It's, it's there, it's built in, it's actually meant to be there too, so the support isn't kind of like, like forced in afterwards, it's built right into the setup. Nice. And so WYSIWYG has always been like a little buggy. Um, it's, it's just prone to small screw ups and stuff like that, and it's, you know, WYSIWYG is a difficult topic, so sometimes um, that can happen anyways, but the support in general is much better in Drupal 8 because it's meant to have that. Is there any, any other perks of uh, in-place editing, anything that is going to speed up the actual admin process or anything like that? Um, yeah, so another thing that wasn't built in to uh, Wiz the, even the WYSIWYG setup that you had to add on, which was, a, again, another add-on, was if you actually wanted to just insert images into your content. That was actually an additional add-on called like IMCE that you had mm -hmm. to add on again, and then it had this like file browser shit that was really terrible to work with yeah, and yeah. stuff. Um, which if you've ever added an image, like we just, can we just drag an image in now? Please tell me that's all I have to do. <laughs> Yes, okay. um, they're, they're still working on it. It's going to get even better. They're going to integrate it with the media module and stuff, so it won't just be images. It'll be like any type of media you want to grab it and stuff. There's still probably like, I would guess like 8.2, maybe that happens for Drupal. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's going to be even better, but yes, there's some drag and drop stuff in there. There's image support already there. Um, so it's not like this extra add-on that you have to turn on and configure and has all this file browser shit, but it's like it had its own file browser that was like different than everything else in Drupal and stuff. It was bad. So 
um, that's built in finally mm -hmm. um, because you, you would always feel kind of stupid you explain that to a client you're like well it's how do I add an image <laughs> it's just a, you know well you do spot that's why we gave of, you three hours you, of training you browse through this and then you go and then you and then you sort of upload your image and then you pick the image that you uploaded and you you add that on and if you, you want to change the height then you to go to the settings menu to change the height and it keep going we're almost there in, we've almost changed the height and at usually this point. at that point you're just like I'll just change the template so you're, you're you just it has an image field and you can put your <laughs> images in there or whatever right which is which is uh, having them in templates is nice but it's not as flexible as being able to just do them in the WYSIWYG and being able to do them in the WYSIWYG isn't an unreasonable request now that being said um, I've used in place editing in the past and I mm -hmm. find it sometimes can be a little buggy um, do you know how that's kind of going to be for Drupal 8 is it is it pretty polished it's 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 integrated really nicely, and CK Editor at this point is like a pretty good editor. Mm -hmm. um, WYSIWYG is always like just the concept in general is a little bit prone to bugginess because, I mean, there's a reason why developers still build it with code because mm -hmm. that's precise, whereas using it with a graphical interface isn't as precise. Sometimes it's not always going to do exactly what you expect. So mm -hmm. it's never going to be perfect. If you have a little bit of HTML skill and you can always pop that view source button or like the source button open and edit some HTML occasionally, that's going to serve you best. It's good. You'll get a lot done. Um, I don't know if, if that's ever going to be sort of perfect. No, no one, Drupal or otherwise, has really got that nailed down to be okay. flawless. Um, that being said, um, with the editing that now that, that now we can do, mm -hmm. you know, we're talking about you know what about the other uh, platforms like you know WordPress or anything like that where you know they've kind of had this for a little bit. Is this putting us on par with them now? Are we a little bit better than them? Pretty now? much, it just puts us on par. Okay, you know this this was um, kind of just like a needed change at this point. Yeah, just needed to it, catch this up. This in place this editing, this not existing WYSIWYG thing, it was a thing that Drupal had, and there was sort of some philosophical sort of stubbornness about it. And then finally, everyone sort of agreed that like, hey, everyone else has this. It's a clear weak point that we have. Mm -hmm. You know. We just got to get this sorted out and get it done. So um, some of the awesome stuff we talked about definitely like puts us way ahead of anyone else. Mm -hmm. This one just sort of keeps us up with the pack. Okay. So. You want to give us the uh, too long didn't read and a little bit of a summary here? Yeah. Editing shouldn't suck now. <laughs> it, should be, it should be graphical. It should be friendly. It should be easy to get to. Um, it should be much better. There's still more work that's going to happen on the admin stuff, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, that kind of stuff. But it is way, way better than 777. Right on. If you're happy about in-place editing, give us a thumbs up below. If you have any questions or comments, do so as well. Also, uh, follow us on Facebook. Um, check out our blog at acromedia.com and follow me on Twitter.